Good morning, YouTube. You guys are in luck because Ebill is here with another video for you guys. Uh, if you haven't watched my last video, Moby Dick, then uh, check it out. The link is in the description below. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, hop right into today's vlog. Uh, we're going to be talking about Fahrenheit 451 and basically just uh, how I felt, my reaction when I was reading it, like what I connected to. And then we'll be talking about Guy Montag, the main character, and how he shows how today's society, uh, how powerful censorship really is. Um, so when I read the book, I actually felt as if the world in the story isn't much different than ours. It's really just an exaggeration of what could or would happen if Hitler won the war or, uh, or if communism took over. I mean, knowledge is pushed away and people are created through rules and punishment to be the same. Uh, it's similar to what society, media, and pop culture does today. Uh, we subconsciously want to fit in and be the model or actor that we see on TV, even though like we think that we don't want to. Psychology shows that we do. Uh, it's rare when you find someone that strives for knowledge and tries to be themselves. Like, yeah, in our world, there's a lot of people who want to be different, but acting different really isn't that rare when everybody tries to do it. Um, another similarity I saw in Fahrenheit 451 is that everyone is devoted to leisure and living their happy lives with fast cars and inventions that make their life easier. So, honestly, I'd admit that if I lived in that world, I'd probably be brainwashed like the rest of them too, because conformity is a powerful thing, especially when you're told over and over that you're happy and you never really question why you are happy. Uh, kind of like when Guy Montag meets Clarice, he finally realizes that he's not happy just because of the questions that she started asking that he never asked himself before. Uh, I feel that Mong, I feel like Montag, sometimes that you have to like actually feel what being happy is, otherwise you will never know whether you're truly happy or not, or if you're just assuming that you are. So, I didn't know the true happiness until a certain moment in my life, uh, but once I did, I realized how wrong I was for it, thinking that I was happy all those years, but when really there's nothing compared to what I could be. Um, so that's basically what I connected to in uh, Fahrenheit 451 overall while I was reading it. Um, now I'll jump in and talk about Guy Montag and how he changed throughout the story since the whole book's based off his beliefs and how he dealt with society telling him what's right versus wrong. Um, so in the beginning of the book, he was obedient and he does what most people would do, just listening to their superior who pays them, not really caring if what they're doing is right or wrong. People do this in our world every day in their jobs. We've seen history show this. Um, he thought he was happy. At this point, he took pride in answering his calls and burning books. Uh, the first uh, major shift that he went through was during his walk home with Clarice. Not just like the one time, but several times. She's a young girl who lives in his neighborhood. She's like 17, I think. But uh, he went from being like totally unaware to like aware after she showed him what true happiness was, just of how outgoing and happy she seemed to be, unlike his wife. Uh, she started like asking him questions about life, asking if he was happy, and then he self-reflected on that later and started realizing things. Um, so after all these walk homes with her, uh, he started to develop like a hunger, a thirst for knowledge and seeked out true happiness and freedom, perhaps to be on the same level as Clarice, I don't know. Uh, he started sneaking books from homes as he, burned, as he burned them down, even though it was completely against what a firefighter is all about. Uh, he started to be curious and ask his wife Mildred why they get to live a leisureful life while people all over the world are starving. Uh, Montag in this situation kind of reminds me of like a high school or a college student and basically the time in their life when they realize uh, that they need to take life and school seriously and how powerful knowledge really is. Uh, the next change that Montag really went through was uh, when he started spreading knowledge instead of just keeping it to himself, which probably wasn't his best decision. Uh, he couldn't stand the guilt. I probably couldn't either. Uh, he told his wife, which will eventually come back to haunt him, but he also uh, told Mildred's friends, which was even worse, when they were over watching TV with Mildred. Uh, he tried reading a poem to them, which uh, just led to them ignoring him and then talking about more TV shows and then eventually walking out uncomfortably. 
So with Montag, probably wouldn't have been so excited about all the new things he learned and not told anyone that he could have avoided killing his boss later and burning his own house down with a flamethrower. Um, but luckily he eventually uh, escapes, escapes his death, uh, gets away from the mechanical hound, uh, and he ends up with a few people like him in the, after the city was bombed. Uh, so overall, I think Montag changed very quickly after he met Clarice, which kind of reminds me of many people, including myself, that have completely changed because of one person and what they told me and the beliefs they shared with me. And so that's the connection I had to Montag and the whole Fahrenheit 451 book. And that pretty much wraps up our video for today. So I hope you guys learned something and we'll go read Fahrenheit 451 for yourself because it's a good book to open up your mind about some of the problems that are actually in our own world. And I think it's only like $10 on Amazon, so I'll throw a link in the description below. But thank you guys. Uh, subscribe and hit that like button if you want to do me a favor. I'm trying to hit 4,000 likes on this vid because I know you guys are amazing. So see you next time.